what's going on guys Chiba here with another video and today I'm gonna quickly show you how to custom firmware your PSP so let's quickly start by downloading the files in the description and unpacking them first thing first let's get the PSP folder inside the OFW folder and load it into your, your PSP root folder this step is necessary to upgrade your PSP firmware However, you can't do the permanent CFW. Going to system update, you need to press update via storage media and hit OK to start the uh, upgrade process. If you already have this exact firmware installed, you can skip this step already. But if not, you will have to do this procedure to upgrade your firmware to the latest version. So let's go ahead and accept the license agreement press X and uh, press X again and now it is installing our firmware it will take a few minutes and once completed you can press X again and it will just reboot into the system with a new upgraded firmware and now it comes the coolest part in which we mod our PSP to run the game. Now we can connect back the PSP to the computer and this time we're gonna need the 6.61 LME.3 zip file. So now remember to delete the old uh, upgrade firmware file from your PSP just to be sure and now we can copy again the PSP folder inside our PSP and it will place the file where they should be. Now we have to do quite a procedure here, so make sure to follow me carefully. Now your memory stick, you should have these two applications here. You will have to launch the LME installer by pressing hex. Once it boots up, just have to wait a few seconds and it will show you a screen where you have to press X to install modules. So let's just go ahead and press X and it will install all the modules you need inside your PSP. Super easy. Once done, it should reboot your PSP. We can now boot the LME launcher instead. When it starts, you will see this model 02G exiting in the top the left of the screen. Your PSP will now return to the main menu and now we can extract the last zip. Now you have to go into the infinity folder, into the standard folder and get the eboot and place it in PSP, game, update and drag it there. That's everything you need to do. Now you can boot up your PSP and you will find infinity inside your memory stick. Just boot infinity 2 up and it will show you this screen now where you have to press X and it will say installation complete once it is done. Let's just press X again to reboot and when it reboots it will start your PSP apparently normally. It will take a little bit longer than the normal reboot. If you go to system settings and you check your system version you should be able to see the infinity symbol near the firmware version and that means that you can now run games but it's not permanent so we go back into infinity but this time you can see we have a different screen showing up and all you have to do is scroll to the left and select the DCFW you want I usually go for the me by Nero so I just press X and as you can see I get it selected. Now you have to press the home button and then you have to press X again to exit the application. PSP 
will now reboot, but make sure to check the system version again, because if you still have the Infinity symbol, you will have to turn off your PSP manually. So once you turn off your PSP manually, you go to the system version again and check if you now have LME.3 Infinity. If not, you will have to repeat the process. Your PSP is now successfully modded and you can make now an ESO folder and run every game you want, emulator, homebrew, PS1 games or plugins. Have fun with your new permanently modded PSP. This is how you do it in 2022 and this makes the PSP a great portable retro console to play pretty much everything you want. Thank you for watching, leave a like and subscribe. See you in the next video.